Hello everyone. Let's solve this um, sodic equation very quickly. And um, do you know how to deal with this? I'm going to solve this in two ways, right? Now let's get the first method. Okay, the first method. We have x square root of um, x square root of x being equal to 3. Now, the first method is this. This x here has some um, power of 1, right? Although we are not expected to put the power, then multiply by this x is under the first square root. So it's going to be raised to the power of 1 over 2. Then multiply by the second um, um, or the third x is under 2 square root sign. So that means we have x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. Because x to the power of 1 over 2 is square root of x. And then we have 3 on the right hand side. Now from here, we have x to the power of 1 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 4. And this is equal to 3. Remember, we are applying the first method, right? Now, from here, if you have anything like this, um, let me use a, a to the power of m multiplied by, multiplied by a to the power of n, right? Applying the law of indices is going to be a to the power of m plus n. So I'm going to do the same thing. Since we have the same base, I will add the powers. So pick one of the bases, then you have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Remember, everything here is the power of x, and this is equal to 3. Okay, everything there is equal to 3. Now, I want to pick out this power and deal with it. Now, for this power, the... Okay, the... LCM is 4, then I have, um, okay, so this could be about 1, or better still, multiply 4 by 1, so we have 4, plus 4 divided by 2 is 2, times 2, times 1 is 2, 4 divided by 4 is 1, times 1 is 1, and this is giving us some um, 7 over 4. Now, this is for the power, right? So this means that we have x, okay, we are having x to the power of um, 7 over 4 being equal to 3, right? So we have 3 over here. And then since we are looking for the value of x, we need to do away with this power. And we do that by multiplying the power by its reciprocal. So we have x to the power of 7 over 4. Right. If you like, you have this in brackets. Then you have um, the reciprocal, which will be 4 over 7. And then this reciprocal is expected to reflect on the right. So we have 3 to the power of 4 over 7. Now 7 and 7 will be gone. One, um, 4 and 4 will be gone. And then x is equal to 3 to the power of 4 over 7. So this is the value of x using the first method. Now let's use the second method very quickly. Okay, now for the second method, we have the equation x root x root x equal to 3. In this case, what I will be doing is to you know, take the square of both sides. I have to square this, then square the right hand side as well. So that um, from here, we have x squared. And then this will now take away this. So we have um, multiply by x root x. This is equal to 9. Right? Now, I can multiply this and this right. So if I do that, I'm going to have x to the power of 3, then I have root x. 
and this is now equal to 9. But still, from here, we are going to square both sides as well, and then we square um, this, okay? And then, what do we have if we square this? If we square this, let me write it over here. Remember, x to the power of 3 squared. We're going to have x to the power 3 multiplied by x to the power 3. So, what do we do? Pick one of the bases and add the power. So, we have x to the power of 6. Meaning that if we square this x to the power 3, we're going to have x to the power of 6. Then, multiply by this, we'll now go with this, and we have x. This will be equal to 9 squared, which is 81, right? Okay. Now, from here, this is still to the power of 1, so we can multiply. And when we do, we have from um, x to the power of 6 plus 1, according to one of the laws of indices. And then, this means that x to the power of 7 is equal to 81. Now, what can I do? very quickly remember that to remove this power of 7 from here we need to multiply the power by its reciprocal right so we have x to the power of 7 to the power of 1 over 7 and then this is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 7 so that's from here this and this will be gone and we can conclude that x is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 7. Now, from here, you'll be thinking, the first value we got, is it the same thing as 81 to the power of 1 over 7? Let's get the first value. We got 3 to the power of 4 over 7, right? Now, let me finish it over here. Okay. From the first method, we got x to be equal to 3 to the power of um, 4 over 7. And from the second method, we got um, x to be equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 7. Do you think these are the same? The answer is yes. Because from here, from the second method, x is equal to 81, and 81 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4. Then we have the power of 1 over 7, right? And then, should we continue, x will be equal to 3 to the power of 4 times 1 is 4, then over 7. So this is the same thing we got from the first method. 3 to the power of 4 over 7 and 3 to the, power, um, to the power of 4 over 7. Thank you for watching, and um, if you love this, do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel.